So we have understood the different types of methods where we have started with instance methods. Then we have understood class methods, static methods. As if we see instance method, they act upon instance variables of the class where we have seen how does constructor plays a vital role and we have seen the methods we declare after constructor and how does we use the variable self along with it how memory address is being considered. Then we have understood the example which you can see in the presentation. We have already worked on a couple of examples. When we go for class method, we see they act on the class level where we must use at the rate class method decorator and obviously you can use the first parameter as CLS which refers to the class. In the same way we also worked on static method because these methods they, they generally go for when the processing is required is at the class level but we need not involve any of the class instances right. So we have worked on couple of examples and it made it very clear when you go for static method we use at the rate static method decorator. Now we will understand how we can make sure members of one class can be made available to another class. When I say members it includes attributes, methods and everything. That doesn't mean that they lie one inside another, no. But how do we do that? Yes, so we'll take an example of an employee class and start working on it. So what I'll do is I'll continue from where I have left. So I'll just open the same Python file. If I don't want to use above script, what I should do? I should just keep them as comment and I'll just make sure I create the class and I start working on it. So just make sure if you don't want to execute any script what do you need to do you just need to keep triple quotes which we are doing continuously. So here I will create an employee class and I want to make sure that I may need to make all the members of one class available to another class ok. First I will write my heading what I want to do is I want to write a python program I want to write a python program to create an employee class because I want to define something like employee ID, employee name, employee salary and I want to make sure that these methods or these arguments or objects should be passed to another class that's my target. So I just make it as employee class and make all available and make all the methods available to another class. Python program to create employee class and make all the members. When I say members, it can be methods and attributes. That could be better. And make all the members of employee class available to another class. That's our target. So in that way, you can keep your own name. That's fine. Available to another class. I keep another class name as my class. So I want to make sure the members of employee class available to another class. That is employee I mean my class my class name is my class itself right so it is sim it will be simpler now I create the class as employee so my class name is EMP so I can write the comment as this class contains employee details in that way I am trying to give so this class it contains employee details because the importance of writing comments is it is not only understandable to you whoever reads the program he can easily read what you are writing over there what is the logic you are trying to give. So I can write the doc string as passing members of one class to another class. It would be better if you write doc string you are writing the stories because script is nothing but the story how you try to make it members of one class to another. So obviously what do I do I define a constructor define double underscore I mean dunder init method and then you pass the arguments the first attribute is obviously self and then I am trying to declare three objects such as id because id is already a default method right. So what you can do is because id is already a built in function you can use built in function also it is fine but never ever worry when you see color changing over there ok. I want to give id x and I give name and I want to give salary. So these are the objects I want to pass. So same, just refer it. So self dot id is equal to I just pass it as idx, and then self dot name. Self dot name is equal to name. Just go on passing these things. Then I want to also refer salary. So self dot salary is equal to salary. So in this way, I just pass three attributes or three objects 
then I declare instance method obviously. So let me just make have some space here. So I'll keep cursor down. Now nice. So this is instance method which I'm trying to define. So this is an instance method. So obviously I have created the instance variables and I'm trying to access those variables now. So I define the method name as display because if I want to see the result I just pass the method over here. So define display of self then I just gave my print. So print of you can just pass here id is equal to what do you need to do comma self dot id so it refers whatever the id we pass self dot id next then what i want to print is name is equal to you can write your own name it's up to you print statement is your choice so name is equal to comma so self dot name in that way you pass the other print statement also so print of salary is salary is you can give your own print statement it's up to you salary is comma self dot salary then we'll understand how do we pass these members to another class this is fine till here what you need to do when you initialize this to an object using you know that result what happens but i'll not do that thing because i want to make sure this class displays employee details when i create one more class called as my class so class my class you may be doubted right how do we access those objects here i'll just make it simple so i'll write here method to receive employee class instance method to receive employee class instance then what we need to mention we need to make it as a static method yes so that's where we just need to make it very clear and it displays employee details right so that's what we need to do here so i need to make it as a static method because clearly static methods were needed when the processing is at the class level but we need not need any class or instances right so what i need to do is i make it as a static method i make this as static method then i define just method name as my method and i pass any instance over here because you need not worry whether you pass self because in static method we did not do that we just go we have just made it directly any variable it's up to user interest but here i just include those objects here so here i just need to increment the salary i want to just see the increment in salary so i want to increment salary by thousand rupees salary of e because here e is will be taking it as object but how do you take it as when you just make sure e dot salary so e dot salary plus is equal to because we are incrementing right how much by thousand so when does this will happen when you call display method into it you may be worried whether we would see the result or not for sure you can see because you are directly calling this method that's where we'll be understanding the same property when we go for polymorphism which is mainly duct typing philosophy right so now when does this will happen when we create employee class instance and pass the attributes to employee class so i'll create employee class instance employee class instance so whenever you want to see the result you can just give print it's up to you employee class instance e so i define e is equal to what is our class name employee i gave as emp of if i don't pass anything here for sure i'll get an error because i'll show it so when i save and when i execute this so clearly dunder in it is missing three required positional arguments what are they idx name and salary because that's what we gave here right so name and salary they are missing so you should pass three of them so i want to give my name and you can also give your first one is id right so first we need to give as id as 10 and i want to pass my name and i want to pass the salary also something like around 30000 for instance i am passing in this way now i'll just save and i'll execute it here wow 
and even you can see the directory of E because E is an instance. So clearly you can see display method, ID method, I mean ID, name and salary, all of them are objects. So now when you pass E dot, when you give E dot ID, you should be able to see 10, good. And E dot name, you should be able to see Saket. And E dot salary, you should be able to see the salary I give. Now, once we have name, ID and salary, we could also see what does our display method will throw. So when I give E dot display, you can easily see the result ID equal to 10, name is socket, salary is 30,000. Fine, because it's simple when you see. So we already gave here ID, name and salary in display method. But what is the use of my class and what made this salary object to be passed into my method and display method is called into this? Because our intention in this particular video is to make you understand passing members of one class to another class, right? I pass salary and I pass display method. How do we use that? Now, you need to call the static method here. That's where you will see the difference now. When I call static method of, what is your static method? It's my method and my class is my class and we need to pass our object E, right? Now, let's see the difference because the salary is 30,000. When I give 30,000 plus 1,000, that should be 31,000, right? Now, let's see. I gave my class dot. What is the method we need to pass? See, simply destroying you my method and throw here. It's clear, you see. It's already taking E because we already gave that object to be passed with employee class. So now, when you execute this, you can clearly see ID is 10, name is Saket, salary is 31,000. Clearly, you have seen the increment in salary because you passed the static method, I mean my method, into that what you gave, the salary as increment. So E dot salary equal to salary plus 1000. So salary is already you are passing as 30,000 to an object E for the employee class. So you can clearly understand here, by passing the instance of a class, we are passing all the attributes and methods. Right? When I say attributes, it can be ID, name, salary. Even if you want to update ID, you can just go for it. What you need to do here, you just give e dot id plus is equal to 10, right? So what happens, you can see the id will be 20. That's simple, right? But we will not update id, right? So that's a silly thing. So I mean, my instance is, my point is to simply convey, we are passing, when we are passing the instance of a class, we are passing all the attributes and methods. That's where we gave, we made the method a static method and we have used the objects here along with the display method. Suppose if I don't give this method, what you can see when you execute this, will you see any print over there? There is no result, right? Even when you give directory of E, when you give directory of E, you get display ID name salary, but you have hidden the method, right? How do you see the result? There is nothing to be printed over there. That's where when we are passing the instance of a class, we are passing all the attributes and methods to another class. That is when we can use directly utilize them. So in this example, we have taken my class method that is my method is utilizing the salary attribute and display method. So that is clearly we have understood how we are passing members of one class to another class, which is very much simpler. Just make sure that you are good with the logic of creating a special method that is constructor and you pass the arguments over there because you already know this, right? If you keep the comments here and how do you execute that? You just need to pass. So whenever you just execute this piece of code, when you execute this, what do you try to do? You just need to pass some objects to it. What are they? ID, name, salary. Suppose you need to give ID as one name is anything and salary you are trying to pass something here obviously when you give e dot id you get the result right when you give e dot id you get that e dot name and e dot salary which we have already discussed but now i am not doing that thing i am trying to utilize the sorry it's display right 
when you give any other name wrong that is attribute error so e dot display you get the result but i am using this logic i am creating another class and i am passing my attributes i mean members which can be attributes or methods to another class that is the reason we have used static method here because static methods are very very useful when some processing is related to the class but it does not need the class or instances to perform any task that is the reason i gave my method and i'm passing some argument into method and i'm using my attribute or object which is salary and i'm incrementing it and then i have used display method so simply i have passed all the objects to employee class and with my class dot my method i am passing this instance so for that reason you are able to see this result so even if you update the salary to 10000 you can clearly see when you execute this 30000 plus 10000 is 40000 so in that way you can see the update in salary even if you want to give input from user what you need to do so take id x as input of input of name as input of salary as float of input of then you can do it dynamically also so follow that method and you can easily understand because it's your task to make this program more customized but make sure that here we are using salary and display methods with my method so that is how our my class is utilizing salary and my and my method i mean display method in the static method as my method so that is how we have understood once we pass the instance of a class we are passing all the attributes and methods to another class